All right, so today I'll be talking to you about the network solids and specifically the electrical and thermal conductivity properties of diamond. So to start off, heat conductivity in general is just the heating of a substance uh, whose particles, when they gain heat, begin to vibrate and begin to bump into neighboring particles, therefore transferring that energy. And those particles continue doing that and those do that and just continuously throughout the substance until it is evenly heated. In a diamond, this occurs very well and very quickly due to its bonding properties and specifically the strong covalent bonds in a diamond. What a diamond is essentially is just a bunch of carbon atoms continuously connected to each other in a tetrahedral shape and are making a network of tetrahedrals, therefore the term covalent network solids, which I'm talking to you about in this video. Uh, these uh, tetrahedrals are connected very strongly with covalent bonds, which are the one of the strongest bonds. Okay, so since these carbons are so tightly bonded together with strong covalent bonds, this allows uh, the carbon atoms to be very tight together. So, when a carbon, or when a diamond begins to get heated at one end, for example, the vibrating vibrating particles can easily bump into neighboring particles, therefore transferring the heat energy very quickly and very efficiently. This property makes diamonds a great heat sink, which is a device used in electronics to uh, essentially draw the heat away from important components of uh, computers and microchips for, so it doesn't overheat. So now about the electrical conductivity of a diamond. So to start off, what is electricity in general? Essentially electricity is just the flow of electrons around a substance, right? So um, to have electricity, to have the electron flow, you will need uh, free electrons, sort of the localized electrons that are able to move about. A carbon, which is the what is what diamond is made up of, the atom, carbon, has only four valence electrons, which we'll talk about right now. So si since in a diamond carbons make a tetrahedral shape, connect to four other carbons, all of the four valence electrons are used up, therefore not leaving any delocalized electrons to roam around. Therefore, it will... Uh, not be able to conduct electricity because there is no delocalized electrons. They can't flow about. They are in, they're shared covalently in a strong bond. You can't get them out. So uh, ultimately, to sum everything up, the electrical and thermal conductivity properties of a diamond exist due to its strong covalent bonds, which um, allow heat to transfer through diamond very quickly and due to the lack of uh, delocalized electrons uh, which don't allow diamond to conduct electricity. Um, thank you for watching.